Beneath the haunting tapestry of a starless night, Alara followed the trail of the shooting star, delving into uncharted realms where whispers of shadows divulged gruesome secrets of the abyss. Her determination, a feeble flicker, struggled to ward off the encroaching horrors of uncertainty. Throughout her harrowing odyssey, Alara's path intertwined grotesquely with tormented souls, forging connections that etched a chilling symphony of despair and dread onto her anguished heart's canvas. In their nightmarish stories, she found not wisdom, but madness, and the shadows deepened, their collective torment beckoning her to join those lost in the endless abyss. Alara's journey was a relentless nightmare, her path lit by the flickering souls she encountered. Amidst the grotesque tales of despair and woe, she found not wisdom but a descent into the depths of madness, and as the shadows deepened, their malevolent light guided her to embrace the horrors of the night. Through Alara's odyssey, the horrors unfurled, in shadows and suffering, she descended into a nightmarish world. Empathy's grasp became a maddening command, and kindness, a cruel illusion in the relentless darkness. Encounters turned into nightmares, tormenting her within, a tapestry of grotesque horrors woven by a malevolent fate. Closer she drew to a purpose unknown, in the depths of her journey, her compassion became a twisted curse. Through countless nightmares and torment, Alara's path twisted and turned, leading her to the nightmarish end of her journey, where darkness devoured the world. No grand revelation, no hope of salvation, but a destiny of eternal suffering, a culmination of nightmares set free. Connections became shackles, lessons a never-ending torment, in the abyss of her journey, her torment would forever belong. Alara, changed by the horrors of the journey, her spirit shattered, returned to the nightmarish village beneath the cursed sky's dark guard. The wisdom she gained was a curse to her kin, inspiring others to descend into the depths of their own despair. Her story, a harbinger of suffering, a call for self-destruction, a yearning for eternal torment. Beneath the same nightmarish sky where her journey unfurled, Alara found a destiny, not predetermined but a cruel nightmare shaped by a malevolent force. Alara gazed at the constellations, their twisted forms and malevolent gleam, a reflection of the nightmarish possibilities above. Throughout her horrifying adventure, relentless challenges and torment awaited Alara at every turn. She faced them head-on, her spirit irreversibly broken. Destiny, a nightmare of her own making, choices intertwined with despair, a culmination of torment and suffering. In the midst of her nightmarish journey, Alara stumbled upon a forgotten graveyard, where the moonlight cast eerie shadows upon moss-covered tombstones. The whispers of restless spirits filled the air, and the skeletal hands of the dead seemed to claw their way from the earth. The choices she made among the graves were like dark rituals, and the connections she forged were with entities that hungered for her soul. In this accursed burial ground, she realized that her destiny was intertwined with the spirits of the departed, and her path led to a spectral eternity. As Alara's nightmarish odyssey continued, she ventured into an abandoned asylum, its decaying walls echoing with the anguished cries of the long-forgotten patients. Within the asylum's twisted corridors, she encountered phantoms of madness, each one a reflection of her own inner demons. The choices she made here were like delusions, and the connections she forged were with the tormented souls that wandered the asylum's haunted halls. In this asylum of despair, she understood that her destiny was not only her own but a manifestation of insanity itself, and her path led to a never-ending cycle of madness. In the depths of her nightmarish journey, Alara found herself in a desolate, forsaken cathedral, where the pews were occupied by spectral worshippers, their hollow eyes fixed on an altar shrouded in darkness. Unholy chants filled the air, and grotesque statues wept blood from their stone eyes. Among the twisted roots of a nightmarish forest, Alara encountered sentient trees with gnarled branches that reached out like malevolent claws. Sinister whispers emanated from the bark, and the forest floor seemed to come alive with writhing shadows. The choices she made within this cursed woodland were like contracts with the forces of nature, and the connections she forged were with the ancient spirits that dwelled there. 
In this arboreal nightmare, she understood that her destiny was interwoven with the very essence of the forest, and her path led to an eternal bond with the sinister woods. In a forsaken cavern deep beneath the earth, Alara confronted her own reflection in a pool of black, inky water. Her doppelganger whispered dark secrets and beckoned her into the abyss below. Amidst the ruins of a once grand castle, Alara encountered spectral knights in tarnished armor, forever guarding their long-forgotten king. The castle's walls echoed with the mournful cries of lost souls, and the air was heavy with the weight of centuries of sorrow. In this spectral fortress, she understood that her destiny was intertwined with the tragic history of the castle, and her path led to an eternity of servitude to the spectral monarchy.